This is the next demonstration of the uh, needle editor. We start with this uh, model. It has 12 ribs and the basic rib is defined by four poles and some of the ribs are rotated. Here are the number three, four and five are rotated in different directions and there are two uh, ribs number 8 and 10 which are moved in X and Y direction. Uh, here is the keyboard uh, monitor to see uh, what keys I use. I generate the model. So and here we see the data again. We see here the rotations of some ribs and we see here on displays the movement of two other ribs along the backbone and here is the structure of the three uh, four points. I close the spreadsheet and for me it's useful to have the spreadsheet not only here in this MBI area but also uh, I want to have the possibility to put it onto my other screen so I have a method open spreadsheet uh, as a top level window and now I can move the window and the, the dimension of the window is uh, so that I see all data here and I put it to the other screen and here is the model and what we can see we have here the two moved ribs and here we have three ribs which are rotated and I hide the rib template. Okay, and now we want to uh, do some modifications. The first is we want to reset the rotations of these uh, three ribs. So I have to edit the backbone and I see here a reduced model uh, I see the backbone, this is the black line here and for any rib there is a placeholder uh, where I see what is the X direction, the Y direction and the Z direction of the rib and we see here are some ribs out of order so uh, I can move the selection of the rib under control using uh, this dialer but the other way uh, is to use the cursor keys and so I can move up or down and okay we will see here we see here uh, this rib is rotated in X direction so I can change the, the rotation back to nearly zero and now I can commit and continue but also I can only press the enter key and in this moment the change is committed to this uh, helper window and also here to this place and you see now uh, this rib is the rotation is set back so we go to the next this is this one and we see here we have uh, the rotation in x along the x y axis and we set it back to zero and say commit and the same is done here and then we have to go to the last rib which is not right in place you see here is a rotation along the the z axis and I can rotate it and I can set it back to zero and now this is reset it to. So this is the first thing, uh, commit and stop. So in, in this case the helper window is closed. When I edit a backbone or a rib I open an extra window in this window 
only the data are uh, rendered which are useful for the action so the main object can be very complex and in the helper window they have only a small amount of data and only if I press the commit key then the data are drawn back to the large model. Uh, we enter uh, now the other functionality, this is uh, adding the rib. So, and what we see, we change to a top level view. Uh, we see here the four poles, and we can change the active pole in the same manner. So, what I can do next thing what I can do is uh, I can move the pole and I can say in which direction I uh, want to move it direction which are allowed are x direction uh, y direction and z direction and uh, I do the first thing I use the y direction that means I press the y key and this moment here the direction has changed and now I can use the mouse wheel to move the control point in this direction or in the opposite direction and because this is very fine I also can use the cursor keys up and down and when I use the up and down key then I can make larger steps so and now I'm ready and, and I say now commit and continue or I only press the enter key and now this is the new pole and the figure has changed. Um, we have directions X, Y and Z but uh, I think it's also useful to have a direction which goes orthogonal to the line between the neighbor poles. I call this direction, it's the normal direction, so I press the N key, normal direction, and now when I uh, move it goes this way and I can create a concave figure. And we see the result and I can go uh, back again and the other direction is the tangent direction that means uh, I move the pole parallel to the line between the two neighbor poles that is this direction so I press the T key and now I can move here and here Okay, uh, there is another direction too and uh, we can say one direction is the tangent direction and the normal direction and orthogonal to both directions we have the b-normal direction that means it goes up here and for this I use the bk and I press b and now I can go to the third dimension and can commit. So I go back because I want to do the next uh, examples with the planar ribs. Good, we commit and stop the dialog and now we want to uh, reset the movements here. This is a movement in the backbone, so we have to edit the backbone. And we want to have the same view here and here. And we want to move this one back. So the first thing is we go to this rib and we have to move in x direction so we press x 
and then we see oh this is the false direction so we go to the opposite and can bring the rib to the straight line here and now I commit it pressing the end of the and we see here the result uh, the object is straight and we change the view and have here uh, a movement too then we go to this place and change and we see this is the place we have to move the rib so I go up to this place and now I have to change the Y direction I press the Y key and use the cursor keys to bring it back okay so next what we do is we want to rotate this uh, along the uh, x-axis so we change the view we now look into x direction and so I can rotate to the right and here the proxy follows and I can rotate to the left and the proxy follows too and I commit it and we see here oh, we have not changed the view we x is uh, directed to us so we change the view here and then we have the same result it is rotated to the left and here we have the same result so now we go here <coughs> down oh go three steps down and do the next uh, one that says we uh, now use uh, the y axis as rotation and we want to ro rotate this one so we can do it in this and in the other direction and commit it so here and we see we have the same <coughs> so next example again is here uh, we look from the top down oh in this moment I first move it to out of the queue x okay and then I switch to top view and now I want to rotate it in z direction uh, so I use the view from button and now I can rotate clockwise and counterclockwise and commit it so we see the change uh, here the meridians are a little bit rotated can move it more and you see here this soft rotation so the benefit of uh, this structure is that I have only some small proxy uh, helper objects and this view can be rendered very fast and when I have done my work I say commit and all the data are transferred back to the real model here and of course I always can go into my data sheet and can check the values here. We see at the moment I still have to improve the way to find here the exact zero values and other cases it's the same. Um, I will also implement uh, here some more dialers for the scale uh, 
information and the scale information can be visualized very easily. Uh, I will scale the triangles here. 